Hey, what's up guys? John here. I'm in Tokyo and just heard about a new law they're working on in San Francisco. I'm gonna give you a walk and talk in this you know, beautiful park, right in the middle of the city. What they're doing in San Francisco. San Francisco is uh, working on making it illegal for grocery stores to go out of business. So they will not be legally allowed to go out of business unless they give six months worth of notice and they work to find a replacement. So they have to find a replacement grocery store. And, uh, and then right as they're announcing this, President Biden came out and said that grocery stores are taking advantage of everyday American families with their high prices. The president is accusing corporations of ripping people off. The Biden administration is ramping up pressure on food retailers to lower prices. And we've all heard about this, that there's a war on high prices. We need to combat you know, junk fees. We need to combat these excessive uh, corporate hikes across you know all food all services all products everything in america whether it be credit card fees late fees everything needs to be changed right that's what they're saying now what i personally think we can all learn from this is what this is going to mean if you own a brick and mortar store if you own certain businesses that they believe play a crucial role in the economy what pending regulations and pending changes could be coming to America. Now, I'm going to break this down for you in this video and show you some really big changes that I think are coming next and what I think this is ultimately going to lead to. Please hit the like button and hit the like button. YouTube will share this content to educate the people about what's going on in America. And if you'd like to fix your credit to position yourself, what I believe is going to be the greatest transfer of assets in American history, which we're walking into now over the next couple of years, we're going to see this ramp up. We'd love to help you. love to help position you so you can get funding. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any issue at all in your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link in the description just below this video. Schedule a free call for tomorrow. Look at this park. It's absolutely beautiful. And uh, so what they're essentially doing is they're working on making this illegal for grocery stores to close. They have to give a six-month notice. This is according to Dean Preston a six month notice in San Francisco to leave the city, to leave the city. And the reason they say is because, you know, they play such a crucial role on the overall economy. But if you think about what, what these grocery stores have been through over the last couple years, due to the policies enacted by the very people enacting these new policies, it almost seems like a war on business because they made it to where, you know, crime was essentially Okay. Crime was essentially legal in San Francisco. The, people were just getting, you know, catch and release. No matter what the crime was, every everything was basically, it was a free for all. They got rid of cash bail. You know, they got rid of any type of protection for business owners. And when you see this, then coupled with the war on high prices, then coupled with essentially a new law to work to, you know, put these businesses to a place to where they can't even they can't even determine their own future of their own business. Think about this. What would this actually mean? Would this mean if a business goes out of business, a grocery store goes out of business, that the state could then pursue them? <laughs> like it's not, it's not bad enough that you know the people are you know being able to commit crimes inside their stores. You've seen all the Rite Aids, the Walgreens, you know all of these uh, like all these stores, all these retailers going out of business due to crime, due to theft. To me, what I think we're, we're walking into is a situation of massive regulation and massive curveballs coming for employers in a lot of key industries over the next couple of years. This whole, this whole relationship change that we're walking into is going to lead to not just this, what we're in now, but combating inequality, inequity, going to a place to where we're going to start to see a lot of employers going through a lot of headache in places like San Francisco, Los Angeles, and a lot of these other cities all throughout America over the next couple of years. And I think it's gonna force a lot of people to rethink their businesses, rethink hiring decisions, rethink their corporate headquarters, rethink everything. I mean, it's a, it's a sad situation because America is always the land of the free, the home of the brave, the land of opportunity, where everyone would come to, you know, to really work hard and provide for themselves and their family in this country. And now, you know, America is changing and it's doing so in such a rapid, rapid pace. Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. It is so beautiful here. Almost no, I haven't seen any bit of crime. 
Like not even a piece of trash on the floor or on the ground. Like everything is just, it's immaculate. Like this entire park, there's no trash anywhere and uh, no graffiti, nothing. It's just been, uh, it, to me, it reminds me of what America once was, which was just a, a beautiful, beautiful place where people come raise their families and, uh, and provide for their families. Now this, this uh, is all spreading to different countries, certain other countries that are trying to hold tight onto their traditions. Americans, America's traditions are, uh, are being stolen right now and pushed away. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's unfortunate, it really is. I love California. That, that's, the hard part for me was I lived in California for many, many, many years from 2006 to 2020, like 2021, I left when things really kind of got out of control. Um, and I just looked at what was going on in California and realized, you know what? No matter how much I don't want this to be true, the best days of California may be behind us, at least for the foreseeable future. And I think we're gonna start to see a lot of big problems in that state. And, he and here we are, like the eviction moratorium back then when that came out, I said on this channel, that this is not gonna be a two week, six month thing. This is gonna be years of this. And, uh, and then it was three years, it was three years. Even there are still some regulations um, that have been further enacted to protect tenants inside of Los Angeles. But the point was that it was the beginning of massive changes of a depth of a thousand cuts. It was like putting a frog in boiling water where they slowly turned it up. That was what happened in California with landlords, right? That's what happened in, with landlords in California. And now we're seeing this go from where it was just the landlord being the problem to now it's the business owner, right? Now it's the grocery store. And uh, think about this. Imagine you open up a grocery store, you open up any business and then you do so. And then as you're opening up this business, you're already struggling to pay the wages that California requires for, you know, for people to earn, to be able to even feed themselves you pay increased taxes and then you have regulation to the likes of which many people can't even comprehend and believe, right? We're gonna see a very big problem for the state of California over the next year or two with business owners, with property insurance, with government overreach, with property, with landlord um, rights being essentially destroyed. It's gonna be an erosion of the middle-class mom and pop property owner and the middle-class mom and pop business owner. You know, here in Tokyo, I have not seen one, not, well, no, let me take that back. I saw, I've seen 7-Elevens and some grocery stores, but I have not seen one major, you know, restaurant chain. I have not seen any of these big chains. A lot of the restaurants, a lot of the stores, people spend their money, it's mom and pop businesses. I've seen some Starbucks out here, but the food is mom and pop. The shopping experience is mom and pop. It, it, it's different. What's happening in California that mom and pop aspect, that small business aspect is being ripped away and it's being replaced by the large corporation. The large corporations are gonna be the ones that get the big favors. We've seen this over the last several years. But you know, you leave a look in California, Panera Bread. They were gonna give, Gavin Newsom was gonna give Panera Bread a massive discount and, and exempt them from the $20 an hour minimum wage because they were donors, right? I think they got retracted, but the point was they tried to push that forward. Right? This is what's happening. This is what's unfolding. Pay very close attention to San Francisco. Pay very close attention to these new laws, these protections, these policies that are being worked on in certain areas, even if you don't live there. Even if you're like, you know what, that's San Francisco. San Francisco is crazy, they'll always do stuff like that. Look, <coughs> if it's going on in San Francisco, it's gonna be coming to New York, it's gonna be coming to Boston, it's gonna be coming to Philly. It's going to come into all these different markets, all these different areas, because <clears throat> unfortunately, a lot of these cities are all just moving at different speeds, but they're all going to the same destination. I wish it wasn't the truth, but uh, mark my words, you're going to see a lot of people rethinking their business. They're going to be rethinking the way in which they hire. They're going to be rethinking where they're located, their headquarters. They're going to be rethinking everything over the next couple of years. I think we're going to see more capital exchange hands over all of these new changes that we've ever seen in American history over the next couple of years. We're saying a lot, 
right? When I say American history, I mean, that's 10, 15, 20 years. And every, every couple of decades, everything changes in some capacity, but over the next couple of years, we're gonna see more change, I think, than we've seen in decades. What do you think about this situation? Where do you think we're walking as America? When, when you have a grocery store law to make it essentially illegal for grocery stores to close up, saying that they have to give six months notice to the city, saying that the city, they then have to provide new solutions to the city for the, the food which they lost due to policies that push these businesses out of business. Tell me how crazy that is. Tell me how is this free market capitalism in San Francisco? It's not. I wouldn't buy property in San Francisco. I wouldn't invest in San Francisco. I wouldn't start a business there. And it's not because I, I don't love the city. San Francisco, not long ago, was an absolutely beautiful, beautiful city. Now San Francisco, a lot of that beauty has been taken. The, the streets are full of crime, full of feces, uh, full of trash, full of uh, you know, just bad things, all of which was pushed there. So you just imagine, if the world's gonna get more radical, San Francisco is gonna be likely at the forefront of that, and I think we're gonna start to see a lot of change that's not gonna be for the betterment of the property owners and business owners. Drop below, let's have a conversation about this. And if you'd like to fix your credit to position yourself, what I believe is gonna be a really big change coming to America, <laughs> coming to business owners, coming to property owners, coming to capitalism in America, put yourself in a position to get funding. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, any issue at all in your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com, click the link in the description just below this video, schedule a free call for tomorrow. I'll catch you next video.